to Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, and my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place and you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by a bit and bridle or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. I love verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Wow, don't you want your sins covered? I know I do. It's just really fantastic to know that he has come and taken away all of our sin. Then we can just live without the guilt that a lot of people have in life. So I hope you believe that, that your transgressions are covered if you ask him for forgiveness. And then also verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. So he is wanting, my friend, to teach us in the way to go, and his way is the best way. It's the narrow way. Over here, the world has the wide path, and people are all over it, and it looks like they're having fun, but in the end, that's not going to be fun for them. Stay on that narrow road. He's going to teach you the way to go, and it is going to be the best path in life. So I hope you follow him, because he's willing to instruct you and lead you. And I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com.